Hi guys, today we're going to be doing some opacity work. Now, opacity is just basically a fancy way of saying it's going to show and disappear, emerge and disappear from light to dark. That's basically it. Now, we've got our video here, and say you want to make it look fancy, you want to show some people, hey, check out this video. You can't just make it pop up automatically randomly on the screen, you want to ease it in. So, We've got a video, I've adjusted it via this toggle key, make it larger so I know what I'm playing and mess with it. So we've got that. Now mine's already popped up here but if yours hasn't then you can go to the workspace and go on effects which is right here. Effects controls, there we go, it's right there. See I've toggled it off or toggled it on because the rest of them are on. Anyway, say what I didn't mention before on one of the other videos, you can toggle any one of these keys to any section of the screen. Say if I wanted this toolbar here. Right. Now you can see the top of square that's going on in the back of the screen. Now the main video is on that one and that toggled video not that toggled option is connected to that. So if I want to pop it there, then it's gonna pop right there. So if I want to pop this here, it's going to go right there. If I want to pop it there, it's going to go right there. It's not a big issue, but say it'll help if you want to build some space on the screen. And you can also, once you've set it up, you can go to Windows, um, and you can save the layout of the whole section screen. Workspace, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. You can save the workspace of that new workspace this workspace you can save how wish you however one you are you want so back to the opacity now our screen is there our video is there we can see the video and I've toggled the effects control so we can see there so effects has got FX written in because it's area top of FX so it's not that much uh, different than a lot of the other audio and visual ones now what we want to do is think okay where do we want it to be dark. I'm thinking there's audio running through the whole track. I want it to be dark from the start. So I'm going to keyframe that. This uh, little dot between those two arrows, one left point left, one point right, is the keyframe option. Keyframe that there and you knock the opacity down to zero and boom, it's gone black. Now you don't need to panic if the video is gone, then you, mm, you might think it's gone, but it's right here. You move a couple of frames forward say 0 0.10 of a second if you want to do a couple of seconds say one second remember you go across add another zero boom it's a bang on one second so that's right there get another keyframe now we want the darkness to disappear and slowly the light emerge through so we go 100% opacity boom it's there now that is there done so once so if I move in the middle of that, it's going to be slowly merged out. See, it's slowly a bit darker, so it's darker, and then it comes to light. Now and then the rest of the video is going to play, and now we want the ending to transition out, as you would on any type of Windows Movie Maker or whatever you've got. So the near the end, because it's a, let's have a look. It's a seven end duration. How long is a piece? Yep, and it's eight point two seconds piece uh, less so say seven seconds we want it to end so we go to seven seconds I personally prefer using this but I guess if you wanted to you could go back and forth on this you can toggle this key but if you want it to be exact use that let's get rid of that there we go, 7 seconds. 7 seconds and then we're going to add a keyframe. Now that keyframe is still going to remain at 100. Why? Because you don't want it to emerge straight yet. Because you have to understand between here and here is when all the lights going to show. Everything's going to be perfect and it's going to remain 100%. And then after that, it's going to go darker. So uh, 8 seconds. But from what it looks like to me is we might have to do it earlier because it seems like 7 seconds is not enough. We've got to the end there and it seems like it's not enough see that distance from there to there is a lot larger if 
from there to there. So let's let's put this to eight. six. Six seconds. How do six seconds look? Six seconds. Six seconds seems a bit large. Let's put six point three. In the middle there should be bang on in the middle there we go that looks a bit fine so what we can do is click on this and drag it across to 6.3 seconds of the f video file and then that slams straight to it connects to it like a magnet now we drag it all the way to the end until and there's nothing there and then we can do another keyframe now this time we want it to go to zero we want to see nothing so recap we want to start with zero, go to 100%, see the rest of the video, and then from the last keyframe to that point, we want it to blur out. Now I'm going to run it and see how it goes. Remember, this is not the fastest computer in the world. It's going to run a bit slowly. See, it's blurred. It was blurred. And then it slowly goes out there. So we try to do it again. Let's loop it here. So it's still running a bit slow because it's not a fast computer I'm sorry for that but you get the general gist of it okie doke seems yep see and that line there the yellow one I'm not sure if you can see very clearly but let's see if we can zoom in there we go the yellow line is to show the opacity level now the yellow line in the audio that's the audio and that's going normal as anything but the opacity is dipped because it's obviously, it's obviously the opacity change and you're going right through and that's that thank you for watching bye